breaking news. You are treating Unam de Kano illegally. Ugiwa to Burawi government. You're welcome to this news. Please listen to the details. Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Uriwa, has said it is totally against what it describes as the unconstitutional, provocative, primitive, illegal, and outrageously non-methodical non-method- treatment of Mazinam Dekanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypo. The group said the handling of the matter held before the Federal High Court, preceded over by Justice Binta Moritala, pardon, Justice Binta Motala Unyako, has been anything but fair and just. According to the rights group, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, has demonstrated an unacceptable level of, law, of, law, of lawlessness and non-adherence to due process and has shown disrespect and disregard to the principle of rule of law and has operated under the principle of rule of brute force, adding that the process has also been subjected to systematic odium and characterized by discrimination. The group lamented that the federal government of President Mamadou Buhari has treated Kanu as a hostage, a prisoner of conscience, or something even worse than that. They are treating him as a tenant in the labor camp of pre-1945 Second World War era, or as one of the six million Jews murdered in the gas chambers by the then repressive pre-WW2 German government, the group said. The constant illegal and provocative amendment of charges and the frequent multiplication of same charges by the federal government are as primitive, callous, wicked, and it is a medieval type of practice which is totally unconstitutional. The ugly fact that the government has amended Mazi Unam Dikanu's charges for more than four times, which is targeted at delaying the trial of Kanu, is against constitutional democracy because justice delayed is justice denied. And because Nigerian constitution has clearly spelt out the principle of check and balances among three arms of government, this back- backward tendencies of government to obstruct the quick dispensation of justice is grotesque and unnatural. The constitutional principles of checks and balances are between the three arms of government, namely the legislative, the judiciary and the executive arms of government. But what the Attorney General has done in Mazi Unam de Kanu's case is that he has hijacked the function of the judicial arm through subterfa- pardon, subterfuge ex- exemplified through subterfuge exemplified by the constant illegal amendment of charges against Mazi Unam Dekanu. If it were in civilized claims, Nigeria's Federal Attorney General would have been dismissed and thus barred from practicing law. We believe that he might still face the same sanction in the nearest future. It is enough that Justice Binta Unyanko of the Federal High Court in Abuja had warned the Department of the State Services, DSS, against taking over the security arrangement of the courts on February 16 until 12 p.m. The court had instructed DSS to only take control of the court security arrangement when the trial of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, High Pop, Mazi Unam Dekanu, on terrorism charges resumes. Unyako also complained that other cases are affected each time Kanu's trial takes place due to every security presence 
and blockade of roads leading to the court. Justice Unyako also shifted the terrorism trial to 1 p.m. on Wednesday, February 16th, to ensure that other cases are accommodated. And Uriwa said it believes that the court is timid in the face of aggression targeting the whittling down of its constitutional powers and authority. It said the court must wake up and stop surrendering its powers, independence and authority to the whims and caprices of the executive arm of government and its attack dogs, the DSS. The Urura Association are told the Burawi government that the way they are treating Mazunam de Kanu is illegal. The trial of Unam de Kanu has been denied, it has been delayed, and this is becoming too much. He has been made an, a hostage for a long time because depending the time his trial is being rearranged he has been in old stage and that is bad on the part of the federal government Ogiwa is saying that they should face this law this this, this, this issue using the principle of law instead of using the principle of rule of brute force. Bintaun Yako, who is the federal high court, the chief, the, the high, federal high court judge, has been fair and just on the issue of Unam de Kanu. But the case keep adjourning that it has been adjourned again to February 16th. And it is unconstitutional. It is like putting him in the den of lion. This case should have been over for a long time now, but procrastination of his issues has been making the, 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 the trial to be adjourned every now and then. The Uruwa Association is not happy. It's not happy because of what is going on. They, have, they are treating him as prisoner of conscience or something even worse than that. They are treating him as a tenant. He's supposed to be free by now. But recall that there's an adage that says justice delayed is justice denied. They just want to deny him of the justice in which he's supposed to have. They should look into the state and free him, making sure that everything works hand in hand. The court should stop surrendering their power, their independence, their authorities to the whims and caprices of the executive arm of government and its attack dogs, the DSS. We have come to the end of the news. Have a great day.